What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Friday the 4th of December. My god, I really need a haircut. We woke up this morning to the elves, of course. But what they've been doing today is just it's mental. So, you know, when you don't see somebody for a long time, you generally celebrate. Well, it, it looks like they have been. So as you can see, they've been on the aftershock. And they're absolutely clattered. All of them. What, they, they got drunk the other day? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see them get drunk the other day. I did. You did. You want to see things I don't. I know the one. Are they funny? Yeah. Can't yeah. touch, don't touch him, you can't touch him. Oh, they're all loose the power. This is just unbelievable. Leave them alone for five minutes and they get hammered. All right, I'm now back from school with this ridiculous, this hair is just pathetic. I can't do anything with it at all. Can't blow dry it, curl it, style it, nothing. So I've just come home and would you believe it, Sarah's upstairs with Aurora, she's sorting out the boys' room. Although I'm adamant that the boys should be sorting their room out because it's their room. Mum shouldn't be sorting it out. They're old enough now to go upstairs and to tie their own stuff up. It is snowing outside. I am not joking you, check this out. As you can see, it is like a winter wonderland outside or starting to be a winter wonderland. As you can see here, we've got the vehicle over there. We've got Barry's there. Barry's great. He uh, grows chickens. Grows chickens. He, he has chickens and everything else. He's a really, really nice guy. And his wife, Julie. But it's looking amazing. I mean, I, it looks like it's going to stick onto parts that aren't the road. So anything other than the road. But it just looks idyllic because it's Vlogmas. So Vlogmas Day 4, it really is snowing. So I thought I'd share that with you because... It looks amazing that the snow is out and it's it's winter time, it's Christmas time. There's nothing more amazing, I feel, than being tucked up in your house. It's lovely and warm. You've got Christmas lights on. You've got the big Christmas tree or any Christmas tree for that matter. It doesn't have to be big. It could be big, small, medium, large, anything. And when it's dark, you've got your lights on and it's snowing. It's amazing. This is what I love about Christmas. Christmas is the most magical time of the year. I just love it. I, obviously, when it gets to like January, February, I start to get a little bit bored because I just want it to get into like spring and then summer. I hate that period between January and February. I think it is horrible. <coughs> There's too much going on, like bank holidays and days off and stuff like that. I'm not really into all that stuff. I think it just hinders everything, um, so to speak. But all the kids are at school. Chloe's at work, as I just said, Sarah's upstairs. I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing today for Vlogmas. It'll probably be a craft day. There'll be something Christmassy going on, but we have got all the decorations up now. We're going to turn all the lights on properly later on. The gingerbread men are on there. The, the elves on a shelf are recovering over there. You know, I've made them a Bloody Mary this morning. I've made sure that they're all right. They've got four puke buckets between five of them, so they could just pass them around. And yeah, the gingerbread men that are behind them look a bit disgusted with them because, as I said, you leave them alone for five minutes and they get hammered. It's just one of them things. But we have to let them off, don't we? Because it's Christmas time, I suppose. And Christmas time is the season to be jolly. So they got a tiny, tiny bit more jolly than they should have done, I think. So I'm going to crack on now. I'm going to go and get the kids from school in the next half an hour. I have to set off, set off a little bit earlier because of the snow. It gets really bad up here. And if we don't move the car off the back, we're never going to get to move the car because it'll just wheel spin all the time. But, back, but, but I'm sure I'll be fine. So I'm going to go and pick the kids up. Then we're going to come back. Not too sure if there's going to be a transition between me and Sarah or Sarah's going to talk or you'll just see me back later on. But I mean, you'll know after this segment. One frozen wasteland later. All right, guys, I'm checking in with you now. If you remember yesterday, we had the chocolate orange pretzels now n nobody really liked them everybody thought that they were like they smelled a little bit like chocolate orange but they weren't a chocolate orange tasting so sarah had a really good idea and the idea is get some chocolate orange chocolate bars which are these which you can pick up for a pound i'm going to melt them now onto a glass bowl over the the top of a pan we're going to melt it all together and then we're going to pour in the chocolate orange pretzels then after that i'm going to put them on a plate and put them into the fridge and then 
we're going to taste test them again and see if that improves the flavour of them. So, you know, there's that old saying, if it ain't fixed, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, this is definitely broke, so we need to fix it. So, maybe, once we've done them, we can start a little bit of a trend. Maybe Tesco's will um, contact us and say, you know what, you're right. The, the chocolate orange stars that we did were absolutely crap. Your version of them is better. That's just wishful thinking. But I think this is a fantastic idea. We're going to crack on with it now. So I'm going to make the chocolate and show you what the chocolate looks like when it's... Well, I'm not going to show you what the chocolate looks like when it's melted. Everybody knows what melted chocolate's like. But I'm going to show you the pretzels before I put them in. I'm going to put them in. Then we're going to dip them in, roll them around. Then we're just going to put them on a plate. I don't care how messy and how full they are. That isn't the importance here. The importance is to see if you put... Terry's chocolate orange chocolate over the top of them and coat them in them and then make them go cold in the fridge if it increases the pleasure of the snack. We need to find out. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so a quick jump cut later and I have already done these chocolate covered, Terry's chocolate orange covered pretzels. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna whack them into the fridge. I don't know if they'll all stick together or not. If they do, we can just break them apart and try them, but these should take about 15, 20 minutes in the fridge and then we'll be all good and we'll be able to taste them, but they smell absolutely divine. All right, guys, we're gonna open the advent calendars now. Alfie's gonna have his turn at the Hot Wheels. Vanellope's gonna open her barber and then Portia is gonna open her face mask. So we're gonna start with Vanellope, then Alfred, then Portia. So they're gonna take it away. All right, so Winx is gonna open door number four. I wonder what you've got today. What is it? I don't know. Oh, is it a puffy sticker? Let me see. Same yeah, it's a puffy sticker. Look. That's really good. The same one oh yeah, so you'll have to put that on something, won't you? Yeah? Number five. Number five to well, yeah. Well done. Alright, Alfie's turn to open. The Hot Wheels one, door number four. I knew it. What is it? It's the cone. Wow, a cone. That's amazing. You could play with that for hours. Brilliant. That was unbelievable. All right, Portia's turn now to open her face mask. Have you put the other mask on yet? No, because Chloe turns the light off like as soon as she gets in. Well, turn the light on. Simple. I just don't know. Oh wait no, I got the shea butter clay one. Shea butter, smells nice that shea butter. We sometimes have toilet rolls with shea butter on it to make your bum all smell like shea butter. Can I open these calendar? Brilliant. So when are you going to try them tomorrow? Probably going to put this one on tomorrow. Fantastic. Alright so we've finished these now. They are now finished. They've got chocolate, well, they've got Terry's chocolate orange all over them. So the kids are going to taste test them now and see if the myth that mum made of putting Terry's chocolate orange on them actually works and it does improve the flavour. So I'm going to hand it over to them. All right, Oscar's going to go first. Does it taste better with the Terry's chocolate orange on? Yeah. Does it? One Arthur. Is it? No on, Winks. You gotta try some, Mace. It tastes better. Does it? Do you think it tastes better? It's just like the Terry Is it? <laughs> so, if you've got any pretzels and you want to add some flavour to them for a festive theme, you should definitely put Terry's chocolate orange bars or Terry's chocolate oranges onto a bowl with some um, boiling water underneath the, the bowl, mix in your pretzels, and then you've got Terry's chocolate orange pretzels. They're proper pre pretzels. Have you hurt your teeth? Yeah. That will be. I have a little taste of So, is it a thumbs up? Yeah. Thumbs up all around. We'll have to get mum to try them later on. Alright guys, I'm back again with the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar 
as you know, Sarah won't be doing it today because it's her day tomorrow. But you've seen Portia, you've seen the um, the kids. Well, Portia is a kid technically, but she's the teenager now. But you've seen Vanellope and you've seen Alfie open his cone. So you didn't see the cone, did you? He opened a traffic cone that big. <laughs> Amazing. So it's door four today, mini figure or mini kit. Now remember we've had one mini kit, one figure. We had two mini kits, one figure. Mm. I'm gonna go with a kit again. A mini kit. Wrong, it's Luke Skywalker. It won't take long to build this one. The mini figures are all easy. So. so this is keeping in theme with his house yesterday that I built on Tatooine. Got leg, leg and torso printing as well. You can't eat it either. Although I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> Eeps. Hi, Eeps. So it's Luke in his like original Tatooine outfit. You get a pair of electro binoculars. He's got torso print, leg print, print on the back, and he's got two faces. So you can have angry Luke and like just normal chilling Luke. So it's got to be a mini kit tomorrow, 100%. Yeah. So with this mini figure out of the way, it is time to end today's vlog. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can. And we will see you guys tomorrow. And he will, because we do this every single day. Fire.